Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? My name is Estee the Gamer. Welcome back to another video, guys. We got some, another big top five for you guys. Yes, that's right, another top five. This is the top five Power Rangers teams that have never been seen before, at least in America. For my professional Ranger fans, you might know what all of these are, but for my newbies, I got you covered. I am the Power Rangers teacher, Estee, and I'm here to teach you some new stuff that you may not have known before. Before we start, leave a like, 50 likes for this video, I would really appreciate it. Also, E-Squad, represent when you can, comment person, he's part of the E-Squad, and you can be too, so might as well comment down below, because you'll be in the next video. Let's begin! Number five, you guys know about this. I hope you do. This is Tok Yuger. Tokyujer, of course, is a Japanese series that talks about trains and rainbows and friendship, and that's what Power Rangers is all about. Why did it get skipped? I have no clue, because that's everything the Rangers love, rainbows and friendship. I have no clue why this series was skipped specifically. Um, maybe because the Rangers swap colors? Is that is that a good reason? Maybe, uh, trains? Is trains not marketable to children? Can I see Thomas the Train Engine? They have literal Power Rangers Thomas the Train Engine figures. So why didn't Tokyo happen? I, I have no clue. Like, there's no reason why it got skipped. And if, if there's a reason, leave a comment down below because I have no clue. But yeah, I, I liked the, the concept of Tokyo and the trains. And then they had Legend Ranger trains. And they also had a Dano train, which I thought was super cool. Like, the Red Ranger even became the Pink Ranger. And I thought that was super cool. I thought that would have been cool to see in the Power Rangers. And it would have made for good comedy. But guess what? Never happened. So no comedy. And no good show. Next one. You already know about this. Go Busters. I am sad. I am truly sad because I like the concept of Go Busters. And I think it got skipped because once again, like the Tokyo Jr. trains, it's kind of different in this case because Tokyo Jr. had trains and you could have marketed that. But with Go Busters, there's nothing. There's no gimmick. What do you do? Nothing. There's no gimmick. There's nothing you can sell billions of there's just the morph and brace and the weapons you can't really sell anything else it's all about toys it's all about the money 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 you know dollar 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 you know we're making cash and saban ain't making cash because there's nothing to sell with go busters they're just spies and but who likes spies anyway like what james bond it was james bond james james bond there's another spy spy kids guys i love spy kids this could have been the Power Rangers version of Spy Kids, and I would have loved it. I would have every second of it. Why is it here? Like, they look so cool, and then they take off their sunglasses. Like, I would have loved seeing that Power Rangers. Then they would have cool spy gadgets or whatever. Like, the concept would have been amazing. But it just never happened. And there's hair in my glasses. Okay, next one. The next one, guys, you already know. This is Gosei Sentai. Die Ranger. Every Power Ranger fan knows, even freaking BuzzFeed or Comic Book Now can talk about it because this is just a simple fact that everybody should know that they skipped out on that season. Except the White Ranger, of course. Tommy, you guys already know why they did this, but if you didn't know, I'm gonna tell you. At the time, Power Rangers was at the height of his success and it had all the toys selling, everybody was a Power Ranger. Everybody loved it. The show was big, it made big news, big waves around the country and around the world. So when season 2 rolled around and they ran out of Zoo Ranger footage, of course they had Zoo 2 footage. And the Zoo 2 footage lasted them a little bit longer, they had more footage of all the 6 Rangers. So you know, they didn't have to, in the Burai, the Green Ranger and the Zoo Ranger, he died and you know, there were some problems with that when it comes to transitioning that to American footage. But yeah, when they ran out of that, they really had nothing to do. They did have Die Ranger footage from the monsters that they split it in between the Zoo Rangers and the Die Ranger monsters. They kind of cut it up so you never see both of them together in the same shot. But nah, everybody liked the suits. They just want to keep it the same. That's why they keep it the same for three seasons because they, they didn't want to lose their popularity or whatever if they change the suits if that makes a big fiasco. So they never used the Die Ranger suits. Only the White Ranger because they needed at least something to use the footage to make it somewhat usable. Which I think was a good move by Saban itself, you know, White Ranger, Green Ranger, whatever. Whatever. You guys know how to two-parter? When the Green Ranger and White Ranger fight? Oh, that was cool. But nah, it would have been cool to see Die Ranger. We did see in Super Mega Force. I don't want to talk about that. I do not want to talk about that. Can we just skip to the next one? Because I really don't want to talk about it. Alright guys, y'all already know what's going on. Eh? Bioman, Bioman. Alright guys, remember earlier in the year I did a video about the true origin of Power Rangers when they did a pilot uh, for Bandai. They used Zoo Ranger footage and they used, you know, 
like some teenagers or whatever. You guys remember that video? Icon screen if you missed it. But basically, I was uh, informed by somebody in the comments down below that the the civilian footage that we see was used for another Saban pilot called Bioman, and it's the it, they, it's basically the same thing, same pilot, but instead of Zoo Ranger, it was Bioman. But it happened earlier. If you want a video of me covering about it, you can just leave a comment down below and I'll probably get to it eventually, but it was really cool. You know, maybe it's really cool in, in the point where this could have been the start of the Power Rangers and not that. Like, that would have been cool. It never happened exactly and it never appeared in the show exactly. It would have been cool. Alright, it's just, it's just cool. Power Ranger facts, Power Ranger teacher, that's the game right here. Okay, next one. Number one. Uh, Tayo Sentai Sun Vulcan. This is wasn't an attempt by Saban itself because Saban never really directly went for the series. But you know who did? Marvel. You know Marvel. They made a deal with Toei back in the day. You know for, with Super Sentai series and why we had Spider Man in Japan. I made a video about that icon on your screen. Yeah, so their deal included Sun Vulcan. So Stan Lee wanted to bring Sun Vulcan to the U.S. to make it an American adaption. This was long before Saban Entertainment owned it at least had the rights to use the Super Sentai footage. But basically, it was believed to be an American pilot, of course. It was an English dubbed version of the Japanese show, so it wasn't gonna be American footage, it was all gonna be dubbed. But it still would've been cool to see Marvel, Sun Vulcan. Like, what if they stole on Power Rangers this day? Will they be in the MCU? Who knows, leave a comment down below. We don't know if this pilot exists, or if somebody has, has it, or if it's lost. So, if anybody knows something, y'all wanna hit me up on Twitter? Twitter, you guys have my Twitter? My Instagram, my Snapchat, come on guys. Y'all should follow me. Alright, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. But no, that's it guys. That was our five Power Ranger teams that never existed or never made it to America. Did you know all of these? Or did you did you not know any of them? Leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. S to the gamer. Once at it again. Back at it. East Squad represent S to the Gamer. Alright, I'm leaving for real this time. Okay. See ya. Stay awesome everybody. E Squad.